I created these very quick T-bones, seasoned with hot sauce and mustard, but they can be made from start to finish, literally a couple of minutes. If you like hot and spicy food, uh, these are a killer. There are three things every aspiring grill master should know how to do. Smoke a brisket, roast a chicken, and grill a steak. The latter isn't complicated, but you do need to know a little about anatomy and physics. Here's a steak that's guaranteed to make you sit up and take notice. I call it a hellfire T-bone. The first step is to pick an intrinsically tender steak, like a New York strip or a filet mignon. There happens to be a cut that includes both, the mighty T-bone. Now, this is your New York strip. This is your filet mignon, connected by a T-shaped bone. Steaks are grated into prime and choice, and the grating refers to the amount of marbling. These are prime steaks. If you take a look here, you can see these wonderful thick veins of fat. Remember, folks, in the world of grilling, fat equals flavor. First step is to season the steaks with coarse salt and pepper. Now comes the hellfire part. Brush the tops of the steaks with your favorite hot sauce. Then sprinkle each steak with mustard powder. Finally, you can pat the ingredients into the meat with a fork. That helps the spices penetrate the meat more easily. Now let me show you the compound butter. It starts with chopped chipotle chilies. Chipotles are smoked jalapenos. Finely chopped fresh cilantro and salt and pepper. Cream these ingredients together with a wooden spoon until blended. Then what you want to do is transfer the butter onto parchment paper. Roll it up into sort of what resembles a Tootsie Roll. Just like that, roll it into a cylinder and then you twist the ends. What you're gonna do is freeze this compound butter and then cut off slices, put them on top of the steaks. That's another secret to making a great steak, to anoint it with some sort of fat, butter or olive oil. With our hellfire T-bones, how about a vegetable? Jalapeno poppers. So what you do to make a jalapeno popper is you cut the top off the jalapeno and then using a paring knife, you take out the pith and seeds. The seeds are the hottest part of the jalapeno. That's not why I'm discarding them. I'm discarding them to make room for the filling. You start with a sliver of pepper jack cheese, a sliver of smoked ham, and finally a piece of cream cheese. Then stand the popper in a popper rack. There are many different varieties and you can find them in grill shops and cookware stores. Okay, let me show you the grill. I have preheated the grill to slamming hot. And as always, we have our little grill master's mantra, keep it hot, keep it clean. A few strokes of a wire grill brush and keep it lubricated, oiled with either a folded paper towel or an oiling cloth dipped in vegetable oil and rubbed across the bars of the grate. The grill is set up for direct grilling. I have four burners set on screaming hot. That's where I'll cook the steaks. Fifth and sixth burner are actually on low. That's where I'll grill the poppers. You want to arrange the steaks on the hot oiled grill grate. Grilling time, uh, it's about four to six minutes per side for medium rare for each steak. After two minutes, give each steak a quarter turn. How do you know when it's time to turn the steaks? Well, the blood will actually pearl up on the top of the steak. Once you see it, turn each steak over. And look at those killer grill marks. All right, and let's see where we are here. You can see, gently yielding. So we are done. And to finish each T-bone, 
Remember our compound butter, it's been frozen, so all you do is unroll it and cut off a disc of that chipotle butter. This is one of the constants on the world's barbecue trail and one of the secrets to a great steak. Anoint it with some sort of fat. For example, in Italy, they drizzle a bistecca alla Fiorentina with extra virgin olive oil. Peter Luger's in New York uh, adds a spoonful of melted beef fat. So let's see how we did. I'll cut off the filet mignon portion here. And you can see it's an absolutely perfect medium rare. I call this paradise on a plate. The mustard, hot sauce, and chipotles give this guy a triple blast of heat. And the jalapenos, that cheese and ham really does a nice smoke thing. So there you have it, Hellfire T-Bone with jalapeno poppers, because some people like it hot.